this place in early, I think early March. And um, my studio's been in like moving in mode for like six months. And I finally now feel like it's in a place where I'm like, this is a comfortable, fully finished room for me to do my thing, to have my business in, blah, 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 blah. Starting over here is where I basically have all of my art supplies, which is wonderful because before it just lived all over my table and um, in my closet. Oh, that's me. And I've got two of these little things and I have them set up so my desk is here and I can roll them right into the spot right next to the wall so I can just, and I can pull this guy out too. The top two are most frequently used items. And then this side has the next most frequently used items. And this has like random arts and crafts, knickknacks. Starting on this side, I have my oil paints all up in here. I just have this little white basket. I think I got it from Ikea. And it fits really nice in here. I have all my little oil paints in here. Georgian oil paints. I have Winsor Newton. It's mostly Winsor Newton because that's my favorite. This is my favorite paint brand. I've also got my brush soap here. It's the Master's Brush Cleaner. I just like to keep it here. Ooh, got a little bit of tape because the tape fits right here. And then I have my most frequently used brushes. So then moving over to this side, I use paper towels, but I try not to use too many because I don't like to waste. I also have my uh, gesso here, infrequently used brushes. I don't use these ones as often, so I kind of tucked them in the corner. And then my microphone for recording and then some more soap. These are all of my acrylic paints. I have many, 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 as you can see, I've got these, like I haven't used them yet, but these Craft Smart, super cheap acrylic paints, these Liquitex soft body paints. I often use these heavy body paints by Liquitex. I got lots of acrylic paints and they all kind of chill out right here. And then I also have ooh, gouache kit. I may have gotten this rolly card because it matched my gouache paint set. I put a couple more paints in this jar. These are just some oils that didn't fit up higher. And then I have my gessoed wood panels here, all chilling out down here. I have mini panels in this tiny little toolbox that my dad made. I have these little wood things that I'm gonna make little Christmas ornaments out of. I have extra tape for shipping, uh, popsicle sticks, uh, miniature pine cones. It's a hodgepodge of things I got here. I got knitting needles and uh, little pins and a crochet needle over there. And I have some, what's in here? I don't know miniature sketchbooks and um, it looks like a little tin that I have also tiny tiny little surfaces to paint in also my dad made this at a Nettie lunchbox in like probably the year 1999 no it's probably 2000 so and then down here I just have like glue I have hot glue I've got colored pencils in here sharpies in here well what is all this dust Oh, it's from these guys. I've got my plate palette that I use sometimes and I've got all of my um, needle felting stuff here. I haven't gotten into it in a long time, but I made this rabbit a little while back. Look how cute the little rabbit is. I need to do that more. I've got this little deer in the works that's been in the works for like a year. So those are my little rolly carts that I have most of my supplies in. I like to keep my supplies pretty minimal, but it's really nice now that it's all organized and it's like tucked away, especially the stuff that I don't use very often. It's so much easier to access all my stuff and it doesn't just sit all over my desk. Speaking of desk, I did not purchase this desk, but it was purchased for a friend's Halloween party. They needed a beer pong table. We went and picked up a beer pong table for them and that was the only thing it was used for and then it came into my hands. <laughs> so now it is no longer a beer punk table, it is an art table and it is old and falling apart. But it has been well loved and it's great to get messy. I don't have to worry about like trying to keep it clean or anything. It's done me good. I have this little tabletop easel here. Lots of people ask me about this where I got it. I actually got it in my local craft store. But if you look up tabletop easel, they're everywhere. It closes up, it's got a little handle on it. I've traveled with it. It's got a mini drawer here. It is so cute. Um, I've got my little snake plant chilling out here. I've got a glass palette. I've got my little scraper knife. And uh, I always forget what this is called. Palette knife. Oh, here's an example of me being a terrible brush owner, just letting this brush have its dip for probably like a week in that water. I've had a couple people ask me to do a video on brush care and I was like, well, you do not want me talking about brush care because I'm a brush's worst nightmare. I feel like I'm like the Jason Voorhees of brushes. Like just, they just see me as a killer. I also have my little laptop here where I edit all my videos and find reference photos and blah, 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 blah. Little lamp here that's got a bunch of little pens, some scissors, a little ruler, which I use a lot, my good friend, the alligator, and a little green koala. I love koalas. And then I have my inspo board of a bunch of stuff I've gotten from other artists. There's so 
many artist stuff here. It's so cool. This is by Trevor Henderson, and if you do not follow him and you like creepy stuff, follow Trevor Henderson right now. He's got the coolest art. This is by Robin Seelark I got, like, probably like three or four years ago. It's a little bit spooky. Can you tell I like things a little bit spooky? Got, oh, Mab Graves. If you know Mab Graves, this is a miniature um, bone exhibit for her Mab's Miniature Museum. It's got tiny little mouse bones that she pulled out of the uh, owl pellets. Postcard from her Little Cute Clowns by Chris Hong. This is by Faisal Warsani. This is by this super cool dude who I don't know what his name is. That's his signature right there. He owns the Bigfoot Museum in Felton. He draws these sick Bigfoots. And I'm obsessed with him. Look at that ass. This guy is just the most poppin' ass you've ever seen. This is a little print by him. This is a little print of Christine and the Queens from Sash Kabeep on Instagram. She's a longtime art friend of mine. She also drew me that. Ah, a bunch of stuff from 8pixel. I've been following 8pixel for forever. I've supported 8pixel on Patreon for forever. And I just got this cute, cute little keychain. And I just got these really freaking cute pins. How cute are those? I just have a lot of art inspo on this board. And then over here I have a couple little wood shelves where I keep paintings that I've done. Some of my favorites, some recent stuff. I've got some spooky ones up here, like there's a little ghost. There's a little alien. That's a little Bigfoot. Some more down here. And it's just like, is a cute way to decorate my painting area. I have my brand new standing easel. It's a meet-in easel. It can hold two different canvases at one time. This room is not that big. It's not an exceptionally large room, so I can't really have a big easel. And I had this giant like portable easel, but it took up so much room. So I just got this one and I'm stoked. I've done a couple paintings on it. And then over here is my work desk for my full-time job. You might not know that, but I have a full-time job. I'm a graphic designer, so I do all of my work here. Over here I have a bunch of a speech pathology exercises. Fun fact about me, I have something called muscle tension dysphonia. I've got this cute little couch. I don't use it very often, but Bindi uses it every day, huh baby? This is basically a bendy space. And then over in this corner is my, basically my shipping stuff. And then a couple like display things. I've got my little play button here. This is where it's chilling for right now. I've got a couple recent paintings, some plants, this miniature garden me and my dad made like a couple years ago. Another plant. Here I've got some of my um, honey lambs. Honey Lamb's toys. I just got her. She's so cute. Look at her little spider eyes. She's the softest thing ever. Like legit, I'm so sad. If you don't know Honey Lamb's either, you gotta check out Honey Lamb's. This is actually another Robin Seelark painting that I bought. I'm a fan, can you tell? This is my clown bear. This is my other sweet little clown. Oh, I love her. It's my favorite thing I own, I swear to God. Comment below if you're a fan of her or if you are scared to death of her because a lot of people don't like her, but I love her. And then I have my shipping stuff down here. Oh, hi, Mindy. <laughs> Bindi's coming to check out what's going on. Hi, baby girl. You coming up wanting to be in the video? Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. So I have my printer here. I print out all of my labels and things. I've got some extra canvases down here that I got in bulk. This is a bunch of shipping supplies that I have in here. I've got stamps. I've got envelopes. Got a little scale in here. Got some tape. All that good stuff you need for shipping. Postcards. I've got a couple lined up for my um, Patreon postcard club. If you didn't know, I have that on Patreon where I send people who donate to me a monthly postcard. It's a great excuse to buy stamps, which I love. I have so many different kinds of stamps, y'all. Look at those are suffragette stamps. These are little spaceman stamps. These are my favorite spooky stamps. Where are my froggies? I know I've got some froggies in here. Aha! New froggy stamps, very excited. I'm a fan of stamps. Actually some postcards for Halloween that I'm gonna get up in my shop shortly. I have this cute little pumpkin. I love Halloween. And then I have my mirror. And then I have my door. I'm so lucky to have my own studio space for my stuff. I know like it can be such a struggle to not have a studio space when you're trying to do your art stuff and your work. Pinky. Hi, Bean. Come from this way? If you can, if you have a little bit of room, it's great to have like a dedicated art space where all your stuff lives. You don't have to tuck it away in the closet all the time and then keep it organized. You don't need this big space that I have to be able to have like a nice studio space. If all I had was this corner here and like say this table like cut off right here, that would be plenty. I could make tons of stuff just in this little space. So if all you have is like one corner of a room, you can have a studio space too. But I hope you enjoyed seeing my space where I work, where I make my little videos, where I do all my paintings. I'm feeling very proud of how it's 
of how it's turned out. I wish I would have taken a before and after photo because you could have seen what a just a piggy I was. What a little barn I lived in. But finally there it is. So I'll see you in the next video.